Amelia Earhart was America's queen of the air, noted American aviation pioneer, author, and women's rights advocate. Earhart disappeared over the Central Pacific Ocean near Howland Island during an attempt to make a circumnavigational flight of the globe in the devastating year of 1937. In this next couple of minutes, we will relive the glory, the courage, and the power that is Amelia Earhart. Amelia Mary Earhart was born on July 24, 1897, at her grandparents' home in Atchison, Kansas. Her grandfather, Alfred Otis, was one of the leading citizens of Atchison. Amelia, or Amelia as I like to call her, was a very different girl. Very much a tomboy, if you ask me. Always playing in the dirt and getting into trouble. Oh, she was a doll. On January 3, 1921, Amelia began flying lessons with Nada Snook. During July 1921, Amelia bought her first plane, the Kinner Airster. October 22, 1922, she broke the woman's altitude record when she reached 14,000 feet. June 17 through 18, 1928, Amelia was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic, 20 hours and 40 minutes. June 25, 1930, Amelia sets woman's speed record for 100 kilometers with no load and with a load of 500 kilometers. 1930, Amelia sets woman's speed record for 100 kilometers with no load and with a load of 500 kilograms. May 20th through 21st, 1932, Amelia becomes first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic. August 24th through 25th, 1932, Amelia becomes the first woman to fly solo non-stop, coast to coast, sets the woman's non-stop transcontinental speed record, flying 2,447.8 miles in 19 hours, 5 minutes. January 11th, 1935, Amelia becomes the first person to solo the 2,408-mile distance across the Pacific between Honolulu and Oakland, California. Earhart was called Lady Lindy because of her slim build and her resemblance to Charles Lindbergh. That Lady Lindy looked just like Charles Lindbergh! For a while, Earhart was engaged to Samuel Chapman, a chemical engineer from Boston. But, however, she had broken off the engagement on November 23, 1928. Finally, after being proposed to six times, Amelia Earhart got married to George Putnam. I proposed to her six times. She was driving me crazy until the day she finally said yes. They called me Mr. Earhart. In 1918, the Spanish flu pandemic had reached Toronto. There, Earhart was engaged in her nursing duties, which included the night shifts at Spadina Military Hospital. She contracted the flu, pneumonia, and maxillary sinitis, and she had complications. Early in November 19, she was hospitalized and then discharged in, night, in the December. Her many sinus-related symptoms were very painful, but there was no such thing as medication at the time. Earhart had to have many painful minor surgeries to wash out the affected maxillary sinus. Her chronic sinitis greatly affected her flying activities. Sometimes she would even have to wear a bandage on her cheek to cover the small drainage tube. Amelia had planned to teach Eleanor Roosevelt how to fly. She was the 16th woman to receive a pilot's license from the FAI. On July 2, 1937, Earhart and Noonan took off from Ley in the heavily loaded Electra. Their intended destination was Howland Island, a flat silver land of... There are several theories about Amelia's disappearance. One theory is that Amelia was on a spy mission authorized by President Roosevelt and was captured. Another, she purposely dove her plane into the Pacific. She was captured by the Japanese and forced to broadcast to American GIs as Tokyo Rose during the World War II. She lived for years on an island in the South Pacific with a native fisherman. In 1961... It was thought that the bones of Amelia and Noonan had been found on Sepan, but they turned out to be those of Sepan natives. 
The United States government spent $4 million looking for Earhart, which made it the most costly and intensive air and sea search in history during the time. I miss Amelia dearly. I just wish they'd find my baby. Researchers generally believe that the plane ran out of fuel and that Earhart and Noonan perished at sea.